Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to more Yandere Simulator Myths. And I have several interesting myths to go through today. And the first one is... Can you get the guys to go into the girls' changing room while they are in there? Now, the only way I know how to do that is to teleport onto the roof and then grab this bucket right here, fill it up with some wata, and then we speed up time like so. And we wait for Kakona to make her phone call because she's a little slutteroo. Okay, there she is. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Fill it up with water. There. Pour it on her. Come on. Got him, coach. Cool. Did someone really just throw water on me? Why would someone do this? I did that. I'm up here. What you gonna do about it? You gonna run away like a little bitch? Yeah, you are. Let's get a random guy. Who's gonna be the lucky one today to see Kakona's big double D's all up in the face? The big old titties. Yeah, you? All right, whatever. You could do it. Let's get you to follow us. There we go. Man, he is in love with us. Come here, you little fuckboy. You gonna follow us? Let's see. I'm pretty sure this myth will be true because you can get a guy to go into the changing room while they're there. But let's see if there's gonna be any reaction at all. Or we'll see what happens. Hey, hey, over here. What the hell are you doing running over there? You wanna get tranquilized? That's for later. Come on, we're gonna see Kakona naked. She got some big old titties. She's part of the big old titty committee. Look at that. Yo, dude, come here, check it out. Come on, come be a perf hound with me. Hey, Kakona, I brought somebody here to see you. Hey, 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 talk to me. Talk to me, damn it, your name. She's sexy, huh? You wanna hit that? Well, too bad, you in the friend zone, buddy. Oh, she's getting out. Whoa, what's up? Hey! Oh, they're not doing anything. I'm gonna take it one step further. I'm gonna go nude, and I'm gonna make him watch me take a shower. This guy is probably having the best day of his life. He's probably like, oh my god, I'm having the best day of my life. Look at this. You love watching me bathe, boy, huh? You love watching me bathe, you and love me, and now you watch me scrub my arm. Oh, yeah, you like that shit? Okay, so this myth is true. You can bring a boy into the changing room while girls are in there. On to the next one. Teleport after tranquilizing someone and burn the body. You are a sick fuck. But I like that. I like sick fucks. Let's go burn a sleeping body. That is one of the most sick things that I've ever heard. But we are going to do it just because... Man, you know what? We're all sick in the head. In one way or another. It doesn't have to be with burning sleeping bodies. But somewhere out there, something you might like, people are going to be like, Hey, that bitch is crazy. Give me the syringe. And the tranquilizer. Hold on, I gotta worship this big old booty. I worship that booty. Um, you know what? We're gonna always mess with the Kakona. Hey, no, 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 no. Hey, you better stop that before I drown. Oh my god, I am so tempted to drown this bitch. You know what? We're gonna go for Pippi. Just because she has two different colored hair. Ask for a favor. Follow me, baby. Hey, look, she's lesbian. Come on, let's be honest, girl. Me and you would never work out. Okay, Pippi, you're gonna have to be my guinea pig for today. I'm so sorry. Said no one ever. Let's pick up her body. And now, let's teleport. Where is she? Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, hey, stop stressing the fuck out, Pippi. Now, we're gonna have to drag you. Very, very slowly. In front of our rival. But she doesn't care. She can't even move. She can't even talk. I'm wondering if she's, like, deaf and blind. If that's, if that's how she's gonna be in the game, because she can't see shit. Look at her. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. So we're gonna bring this body over to the incinerator. And this is the moment of truth, guys. Can we burn a body after tranquilizing them? Ready, set, you're a ho. Oh, we can. That is so fucked up. Are we gonna burn this bitch? Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, let me smell that. Ah, oh, smells like barbecue chicken. Damn, we just burned a sleeping body. That is so sick and twisted. But, you know damn well that she loves it. I got a good one. Get the info about dating. Go on to the thing. And by thing, I'm assuming computer. Say Saki Miyu at boys room doing something. She will comment, no I didn't, I will tell everyone. The next day your sanity will be normal. 
kidnap Miyu and kill Kakona. The next day, the computer girl will work and she will say you are against robots, Uteloid and Vocaloid. Then you will not be allowed in any clubs at all. By the way, you can see Senpai's name on the website. All right, that is a very detailed and uh, very challenging myth to do, mostly because I'm going to have to refer back to the myth and see, you know, exactly the step-by-step -step process. But let's get Kikona to talk about her dating. Where the hell is she? Oh, there she is. Okay, she's coming up. All right, let's fast-forward time. Get the info about dating. Perfect. Fast forward and let's go home. And now let's go on the computer and we need to say something like, Today I saw Saki fuck my asshole. I forgot to take a picture of her. Let's redo that. Okay, Saki, say cheese, motherfucker. There we go. Perfect. Save that. Saki Miu's info is now in our phone. So let's fast forward time and let's skedaddle. All right, now let's go on the computer. Today I saw Saki Miyizzle. She was in the boys' bathroom. Where's that at? Where's boys' bathroom? Girls' locker room, girls' bathroom, her classroom. Uh, there is no boys' bathroom. Maybe I'll just pick girls' bathroom? She was shoplifting, buying drugs. She was shoplifting in the bathroom, yeah! The soap dispensers are very expensive in the bathroom. Fuck out of here! Drinking alcohol, smoking cigarettes. Entering a love hotel. Yeah, you guys didn't know that? There's a secret door to a love hotel in the girl's bathroom. Flirting with a teacher. Trash talking her classmates. Stalking one of her classmates. Engaging in compensated dating. Taking photographs of her classmates underwear. That seems the most believable. So we're going to click that. And let's posty post. Let's see what happens. Wow, lame. Don't post stupid lies on the internet. All right, she did not say that she's gonna tell everyone. So let me look at this myth one more time. All right, so it says get the info about dating. Go on to the thing. Say Saki Miyu at boys room doing something. She will comment, no, I didn't. I will tell everyone. The next day, your sanity will be normal. Kidnap Miyu and kill Oka. The next day, the computer girl will work and she will say you are against robots. Then you will not be allowed in any clubs at all. Yeah, see, it didn't say anything about a boy's bathroom. It just didn't say anything like that. That's weird. Let me try that one more time. Maybe I did something wrong. Okay, let's try this one more time. Let's write, today I saw Saki Miyu. Yes, her. She was in the gym storage, back of the school, girls' locker room, girls' bathroom, her classroom, Baraza Town, Shisuda Town, Tokyo City, my home, an online game. It says nothing about boys' bathroom. I don't get that. Let's try girls' locker room. She was uh, trash-talking her classmates. Post. Wow, lame. Don't post stupid lies on the internet. Fuck you, Saki! You know what? Maybe if I actually post a true rumor about Oka stalking one of her classmates, maybe they'll say something then. So let me try that. Let me just get away from Saki completely, because I don't even think that myth is true. But let's see what happens if we tell people on the internet that Oka is doing a little stalking of her own. All right, here we have Oka clearly stalking the Basu sisters. We just need to get a pic of her. Damn it, don't cover your eyes. All right, here. I'm gonna pretend. There you go. Got her. Oh, and she's blinking too. Not flattering picture at all, Oka. And let's just get a picture of her stalking the Basu sisters just so we have some evidence. There we go. Save that, even though it really means nothing. And let's fast forward time. And let's go back on the computer and spread some rumors. Today I saw... Oka Ruto, there you are, you fine old thing. Let's put her there. In the... Where was she? She was in the back of the school, girls' locker room, girls' bathroom, or classroom, Barraza Town, Shizuda Town, Tokyo City, my home, online game. Well, see, it's not on the roof, so I can't post something that's true. Let's just say I saw her in the back of the school. She was stalking one of her classmates. Yeah, baby. Post that, and let's see what they say. Wow, lame. Don't post stupid lies on the internet. You know what, Saki? I'm gonna kill you, all right? I'm gonna stab you right in the throat if you always say that. Well, clearly that's not gonna work either. I'll, I need to look at this myth one more time. I want to make sure that I'm not debunking it prematurely, but there is no boy's bathroom when I go onto the computer and post, like, internet lies. There is no boy's bathroom like the myth is telling me to do. So let me look at it one more time and see if I can try it again or if I'm going to have to debunk this. All right, I just reread that myth 
Word for word, I made sure I paid attention to every single word that was written in the myth. I don't think I did anything wrong, but one thing that I might be able to change, you know when Saki and Kikona are talking on the roof during lunchtime? Maybe I need to listen to that too, and then there'll be more options when I pick, you know, about the rumors that I'm trying to spread on the internet. So let me see if I can uh, go back to Monday. And then go to the classroom one time for the homie DJ Screw. Just put in random stats. Because they talk on the roof during lunchtime. So let's go on the roof. And let's make our way to the other side. Wait, where is it? It's over this way. Okay. So let's go over here. And let's listen in on Kokona and Saki's conversation. Alright, there's Saki. And there's Kokona. Okay, let's listen. Oh, shit. I was intruding. If you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. Alright, and you guys have heard this before. So I'm going to speed this up. And then I am going to go back home. Boom. Oh, what the hell, Kakona? Walking all in my space, walking all in my place. Damn ho. Today I saw Saki Miyu in the... What in the fuck? It's not here. There is no boys' bathroom, and the myth is telling me to post about the boys' bathroom. Let's just say I saw her in the girls' locker room, and she was... She was uh, trash-talking her classmates. Yeah. Post. If Saki says, well, lame. Oh my, this, this hoe. This little light blue haired hoe. And also, the last part of the myth said that Senpai's name is on Facebook. Yes, I know his name is Taro Yamada. That is just basically a placeholder name. That is basically a John Doe-esque name. Like, it's the most common name you can have in all of Japan. I don't think that's going to be his name when the official game comes out. But a lot of people have been telling me that Senpai's name is on Facebook. Yes, I know it's on Facebook. You guys don't need to tell me. I do know what his name is. But that's going to do it for today's episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the new ending and understand why I couldn't post the original ending. If you guys have any more myths, questions, challenges that you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!